Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, this is our Thursday installment of Cooking with Kyle, where I am the most mediocre cook in the world. Is going to show you the meal I'm making tonight. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. My camera crew is. Uh, <laughs> Your camera crew is trying really hard. Okay. So we, we we're pretty professional. We broke out the high definition webcam. We got our lighting. I don't know if you can see that light. We got a light over here. And we're set up. I mean, this is freaking Rachel Ray, Martha Stewart crap right here, people. Jan on the Lamb says, hi, my fave fam. Let me get through a few comments, and then you can start, okay? So, Jan on the Lamb says, hi, my fave fam. Hope you all are well. Heidi says, hi, Kyle and Jen. I'm getting hungry. Ooh, me too. I'm there. I'm there, too. Rick Hart sent you a heart. Oh, thank you, Rick Hart. Ashley Lee says, hey, make sure to like that like button or hit that like button. That's what I'm talking about. Can you do a little dance with the like button? Ooh, woo. All right. Jeanette Hopkins has no notification, but I didn't sign up for one with a goofy smiley face. Tara says hello from Maryland. Hello, Tara. Stacy Lowry says can't wait to see what Kyle's cooking. <sighs> cooking with Kyle. The world's most mediocre dad cook. Hartley Jenkins says my dog and I will be watching this intently. The pressure is on. Glenda says, hi, guys. Wow, I'm catching a live. Lorna McKenzie says, hi, Kyle. Hello. Today we go says, yay. <laughs> Carl S. says, it's time, it's time, it's time. It certainly is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to display every, oh, Nomadic Fanatic says, <gasps> okay, oh, Carla says it's time. But Nomadic Fanatic says, whoo, tater tot cake. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is display all these highs and stuff. When I get to a question, Kyle gets to a stopping point. I will give him like a little hands up. Oh, there's no cam over here. Yeah. Anyway, take it away, Kyle. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm basically going to cook dinner, and it's going to be recording and stream. Well, we're streaming live. Um, I couldn't really figure out what to cook tonight, and I kind of went to the uh, to the old fam and said, what do you guys want to eat tonight? Steak is always something that comes up. We don't eat a lot of beef, as some of you may know, but typically we reserve it for steak because we occasionally, maybe once a week, once every other week, we'll do some steak. That's what we're doing. We're going to do a steak. We're going to do some Brussels sprouts, my favorite dish. I do a pretty good Brussels sprout. And then we're going to do Jen's air fryer potatoes. So without further ado, let's do. Um, without further ado, let's do. So I don't know if you guys have bought beef lately but it is insanely expensive so I, I i went a little bold tonight and i bought a flank steak so it's basically a two pound flank i've had it marinating for a couple of hours i bought just a store-bought marinade didn't feel like kind of lazy didn't feel like making my own so i've had it marinating i've had it out for about 30 minutes i want to try to bring it up to room temperature or as close to as i possibly can the problem with flank is it tends to be tough um so we're gonna have to see i, I i've had i've had good successes and I've also had some terrible ones. But this is going to be cooked on the skillet. The Brussels sprouts are going to be cooked on the skillet. And like I said, the air fryer potatoes, obviously, are going to be cooked in the air fryer. So let's get started. I'm going to, go, I'm going to start with my Brussels sprouts. These take a little bit. Um, and then midway through, actually, I'll probably prep both veggies first. Let's get going. Do you have anything on? Um, Rick Hart says, what's cooking? Mm, but you did just explain that. Marlee Severson says Grafton, North Dakota, 18 <laughs> above today. Wow, that's a, that's a summer day. That's a heat wave. Eddie Tennant says, yay. Jan on the Lamb says, no pressure, Kyle. We can't taste it. LOL. I, I do enjoy cooking. I'm not going to say I'm a great cook. I'm not even going to say I'm a good cook. But I do enjoy it. Um, it's something I've kind of developed a joy for over the years. Um I have a few recipes that I do pretty well. I mean, like I said, I'm definitely no pro by any means. There's a few things I do pretty decent. Brussels sprouts is one of them. I make a solid Brussels sprout. So what I do, I buy a lot because me and Jen love these. I like to put them in the fridge and have some left over. So I buy two bags. Uh, what I'm going to do is half them. are having for dinner tonight. I'm curious. Wherever you may, let me know where you're at and what you're having for dinner. I think we could celebrate food. I'm all, I love food. I, if I could be any other profession in the entire world, 
would have been a chef because I love food. I love making food for people that people like. Um, it's definitely something I love. But like I said, I'm just splitting them in half. Simple, easy. And then uh, here in a second, I'll go ahead and get my... I, actually, by the way, I love this thing. I, I, I bought it when our cooktop went out and I wasn't able to find a cooktop. I really love this. Made by, um, I want to say Presto maybe? Or Oster. I'm sorry, Oster. It's just a skillet, but I absolutely love this thing. I can make, I'm actually making steak in it. I can make a pretty solid steak in it. I can cook almost anything in this. I really have gotten a lot of use out of that thing. Uh, Nomadic Maddox said air fryer potatoes. You've got that right. Jolene says, I can't wait to see this. I'm writing down the recipe. Hey, there are no tater haters here. No, there is no tater haters here. <laughs> Jocelyn says, hey, Kyle. Hey, Jocelyn. Nursing our travel bug says, woohoo. I'll be seeing them here in a few days. Debbie Schmidt says, hello, where are you all at? We are still currently in Florida. Uh, I guess you'd say Central Florida area. Um, been a beautiful couple days. We uh, we had a day out yesterday, went spent some time with my parents. We're still close enough. Um, they came over for the day. We had a really good time. But uh, the weather's been good. It's been a little toasty. But it's been beautiful nonetheless. Jolene says, Jen, do you have a favorite dinner that he makes? I love everything that he makes. Quite honestly, I just love that he cooks and I don't and have to. Have, yeah. So anything that he wants me to eat, I am all for, my friend. She does, she does like these Brussels sprouts. I will say that's I probably one of her favorites if I had to pick. Because I've got a pretty good recipe for them. If you like balsamic, if you're not a balsamic fan, this is not for you. Because we, uh, I loaded up with the balsamic, but it makes such a good, um, I don't know, it makes it, if you if you cook it and get it hot enough, it makes like a nice crispy glaze on them. It's really good. I really do enjoy it. Which I'm a vinegar nut. Today we go says chicken mac and cheese. Hey, mac and cheese on the menu. That's a vegetable in the South, y'all. I mean, that's just what we do. Ooh, Stacy Jane says Mississippi roast in the crock pot. I, I do. I was watching, looking at a recipe last night, doing research for this, trying to figure out what I was going to do. I do miss a crock pot. There's a few things that you just can't do the same without a crock pot. It's uh, a lot of freaking Brussels sprouts. I hope you're hungry. I am super hungry. I love Brussels sprouts. Bonnie Perkins says, love me some Brussels sprouts. I had Olive Garden tonight. Ooh, so super, what is it called? Soup, salad, and breadsticks. Mm. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Deb Schmidt says, hello from Missoula, Montana. Oh, I don't want to do Steak is on the menu tonight hey. with green beans. We, 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 I love steak. I mean, like I said, I don't use, like, ground beef very often. We don't really eat a lot of beef, per se. But I, I will throw in a steak NOTB says I'm hanging out of the bus next week. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is probably do a medium high heat on these. Um, I'm cooking with two different kind of oils tonight. I'm going to start with olive oil. I like to use olive oil with these. I just like the flavor it gives it. And I'm not trying to, you know, they have it has a lower smoke point, but I'm not going to get these super hot. So I could definitely use some olive oil, and it absorbs quite a bit too. So I'll definitely probably be adding more. So I'm going to let this heat up a little bit. Um, well, yeah. Once that's done, I can work on my potatoes. Um, NOTV said they're hanging out at the bus next week. Okay. Bring it on. They'll just have to die. Yeah, Bill's going to have to like stick his head out the vent fan there. But... <laughs> they're more than welcome. Jolene says, I'm in PA. It's a balmy 20 degrees up here, and I'm probably going to be making some spaghetti when I get home. I'll use my Hub's homemade sauce with some ground hamburger in the sauce. I I've been wanting to make some homemade uh, spaghetti sauce. I've never done it. I've been, I've, well, I love I, I love the idea. I think I'm going to try that pretty soon. Um, I usually take like a base sauce and kind of just add stuff to it that I like. It's just easier for me. But I would like to try to make my own sauce. Elizabeth Gonzalez says, yay, live Thursday cooking with Kyle. I don't know if you can hear. We've got our max air going. I tell you, that has been a game changer for cooking in here. Because I cook, you know, the pot, or I'm sorry, the skillet is basically right below it. So, I mean, it pulls the dirt, I mean, sorry, the heat, a lot of the heat out from this thing and the smoke. So, that thing has been a game changer. Uh, Marlee says, where's the kiddos? In the back. We, we just show them in the back. All right, let's go ahead and get these on. That's a lot. Of, that's one thing I love about this thing. It's so big. Because, you, because I mean, we, a 
family of five. I mean, you know, really large family with some big eaters. We have to cook a lot. So I, I one thing I do really love about this thing is the way how big it is. Um, Jolene says, I like to cook, but my hubs also loves to cook, so I can understand not having to cook. O says, I'm having seasoned chicken breast and cubed baked potato and corn in the oven. Sure. Richard says, can you smell what Kyle is cooking? Eddie T says, don't, whoa, don't be a tater hater. Uh. <laughs> Anything can happen on live, my friend. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with all this crap? Just shove it back in there. Every time. So, Today we go says, you got that right. Mac and cheese is definitely a vegetable here. It truly is. Oh my gosh, it sucks. <laughs> Sterling says, what's y'all's best recipes with potatoes? And yes, I love Brussels sprouts as well. Oh my god. What, um, what's your best recipe with potatoes? I mean, what I'm doing tonight is pretty good. I mean, I mean, I don't. As far as using potatoes in a dish, um, I don't know. I don't do a lot of that. I guess. You I, make home fries for breakfast. Yeah. Um, I used to make a um, what was it? I can't remember what it was now. But it was like a chicken stew, and it had potatoes in it. That was pretty good. But I haven't made that in a while. Yeah, it's anyway, I just, I, it used to take a little bit. I, I cooked a mess out of them because Brussels sprouts by nature are pretty tough. So I like to tender them up quite a bit and I like to get a lot of that flavor in them. Like I said, they've already absorbed quite a bit of olive oil, so I'm going to go ahead and some more on there. Go ahead and throw a little cease, Himalayan cease pizza on, on it. A little bit of black pepper. Got my youngins in here. I don't know what they're doing. They're just hanging out. Come on, um, just a little bit. Stacy Jane says, "Can y'all do crock pot in the bus, or does it heat it up too much?" Oh, we totally could. <clears throat> it's just something. Even back home, I didn't use it a lot, so it's, I just I didn't see it worth, you know, um, uh, having to store it. So. Um, we don't have one. Typically, the appliances we use, we use this a lot. We use our air fryer, which you're about to see, and I have a two-burner induction cooktop. I'm able to make pretty much everything we do with that. Uh, let's get these taters going. Again, I've already got them washed. So basically, they're just little gold potatoes. What do they call them? Honey gold bite-sized potatoes. There you go. So I put them in our bowl here. Take some olive oil, give them a nice drench of that. Because what I like to do is once you put them in there, it kind of gives them that crisp and that brown when you got them in there, when you, uh, when you got them in the air fryer. Definitely some Lowry's garlic salt. Probably my favorite overall spice. I love this stuff. I put it on everything. Uh, black pepper, of course. And then some basil. Let's, let's go throw that basil on there. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Sherry Weber says, hey, guy, nice pile is cooking. Every night. Wes Baggers says, do you cook outside much? We don't. Honestly, I have a tiny little grill that we'll occasionally break out if we're really feeling fancy. But typically, no, we eat in the bus or I cook in the bus most of the time. I guess that's one of the big things. That's different about this and camping, and like just weekend camping. We don't really eat or cook outside very much. So kind of show you what they look like. Got them nice and nice and doused. Got some olive oil on them. Can't. I mean, you can overdo the olive oil, but don't be shy with the olive oil. Got my air fryer. Make sure they're nice. And, uh, one flat layer, and I'll throw them in. What you got? Uh, right boss says, hi, Bethune. Happy to join a live. Polygraph says, I'm driving home, so you're making me hungry. So I'm throwing them in the air fryer. I didn't mention that. Uh, 400 degrees for 14 minutes. About halfway through, I'll go over there and rustle them real good. Um, trying to mix them up, turn them over. 
So we're good, looking good here. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little box on it. Like I said, I, I, I go heavy on the box on it. I'll probably even add more, honestly. Turn that down to this one here. Oh, that smell. <laughs> Turn my Max ear up a little bit. She's uh, <laughs> choking me out a little bit. No action over there? Oh, yeah. I'm just, just keep talking because I'm fixing a couple things. They said the banners and stuff were in the way. Um, so I was just moving it so they could see the sauce. <clears throat> so now I'm going to add some uh, fresh garlic in there. This is really a roll for Moment, I can see a moment going. Choked on something. Can you move your pan back a little bit toward My you? My what? Your pan back a little bit toward you. Fantastic. You're a gem. You're a gentleman and a scholar, I tell you. Because uh, Marie wants to know what you're making. We are doing flank steak. <coughs> Excuse me. I got something choked me up. Uh, Brussels sprouts, balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts, and uh, air fryer. Bite-sized potatoes. Oh, Glenda's got to go. She says bye, all. Good night, Glenda. Bert says the French chef used to have helpers off camera who'd hand her stuff she needed. You could put your three helpers to work. Hey, Bert, I'm going solo. I'm, I'm like, I'm handling this on my own. But yeah, that was... You have a good camera crew over here, <laughs> for the most part. Jerry Weber says Kyle needs to have a cooking show. This is it. Oh, those smell so amazing, y'all. Ooh. So, as, as Stephen would say, ooh. Put some fresh garlic in there with the oil and some balsamic. It is a good aroma. Um, Sherry also says, I can smell it through smell a vision <laughs> Marlee said everything looks yummy so far. I'm a big garlic now. Let's add a little more garlic. That's why not. It smells so good. I, just, I freaking love garlic, guys. I, I do. I use a, I use it every night. I use garlic and onions, and I'll be using them tonight. Every night of my life. Any, or every night I cook. Jeanette says it looks like you're enjoying that new setup. It, it, it makes it a lot easier, because typically, well, before, basically, I had that. this. So I was trying to cook and do all these things with that. So now it's nice. I can cook here, whether it would be with this or my cooktop. I can use this and kind of prep over here and just kind of swap back and forth. It's still not ideal, but it's it's better than it was. True, 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 true. Bonnie Perkins says, my husband is a good cook and a grill master. I'm definitely, I don't know that I would classify myself as either one of those, but um, that's cool. Can I see the bottle of balsamic? It's not too much trouble. Looks good. Yeah, this is honestly from Aldi. I, I love it. It's Aldi. It's cheap, and it's really good. I've used it for quite a while. It says imported from Italy. I mean, who knows? But it's really good. I mean, like I say, you can't beat the price. We do a lot of shopping at Aldi. We do a, they have a great gluten-free section. Um, they have great uh, dairy-free cheeses and stuff. I really like their oat milks. I mean, there's several things we, we buy weekly at Aldi. Um, Mark Kirchner says, hi, Kyle, looks great. I can almost smell it. I wish you guys could. It smells phenomenal. Karen says, hi, Jen and Kyle, kids and pups. Hello. Maureen says, sounds delicious. Thank you, Kyle and Jen. Shizzle says, yeah, you're back in the saddle. Back in the saddle? Evelyn Foster says, put him on the cooking channel or come be my chef. What was that? You just put in, make sure you let them know. I, I added a little more, uh, sorry, olive oil. Like I say, it absorbs a lot, and it cooks off pretty quick. So I, I, I that'll probably be my last bit. I've probably got a couple more minutes on these, maybe five minutes at the most, and then I'll pull them out. And we'll go to the, to get to the meat of the, of the, of the night. Get to the meat and potatoes, but a bump. What are our potatoes speaking of? A couple minutes, we need to rustle them around a little bit. Texas family camping. Hey, guys! Because garlic is amazing. You can't go wrong with garlic. You really can't. Um, like I said, my go-to seasoning is this garlic salt from Lowry's. 
I use fresh garlic all the time. I mean, you just, for me, you can't have enough. Um, I love it. Mercedes Ben said, so wish I had smell a vision. <laughs> Darling, I just ate and now I'm hungry again. Thank y'all. LOL. Glenda R says, hi, everybody. Oh. D-O-L. They said, Paul can toast, cook toast like nobody's business. You <laughs> can heat up a, a TV dinner like nobody. Uh, right, Voss says, I love Aldi. I will look for that balsamic. I love Thanks. Aldi. Too, right? It's. It's a great store. Everybody's like it's a discount store, which it is, but they've got some good stuff, like stuff I prefer over, you know, your your national brands. Um, Karen Griswold says Aldi Rock. Yes, it does. We like Trader Joe's too. We haven't been at Trader Joe's in a while, but um, there's, they're not near as many of those as there are Aldi. Aldi you can pretty much find everywhere. Trader Joe's are typically in big major cities and stuff, but I do like Trader Joe's also. Uh, I made him smile for a picture, y'all. Bree says, mm, at Glenda R. Oh, Norma Green says, I have to have surgery on broken wrist. Ooh, sorry about that. And then Glenda R. says, hi, Bree. Is there any wonderful revolution? There is none. Yeah. Wonderful revolution. It's stiff. It's not they, just it's okay. we love they show it. up more than we do, I think, honestly, so... Wind Model 88 Guns and Outdoors says, just tuning in. What is Kyle making tonight? I am doing flank steak. It's actually marinating and coming up to temperature over here. I am right now I'm cooking up some Brussels sprouts in the skillet, balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts. And I've got some potatoes in the air fryer that I've actually got to rustle around real quick. Uh, Marlene Severson says, I'm making this now this weekend. Now, if you like Brussels sprouts, it is a good recipe. David Hewlett, Howlett says, I know you guys had a tough time recently. So glad to see you're having fun again. Love from London. A little bit more boss on there. Like I said, I like me some very Thank you, David. You are awesome. Sterling says, olive oil is the only oil I cook with. It's less very good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I use it when I'm making pretty much anything. I'll show you in a second while I don't use it for steak, but... Um, Typically, olive oil is my go-to also. And Aldi sells a good olive oil. They actually have two or three different ones. They have, this is actually from Target, but I usually buy theirs. They have um, like a select one, and then they have a, like a store brand one. And I've used both, and they're both really good. So I think these are about good. I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat pretty much all the way down. because I'm going to wipe this skillet down before I throw the steak in there. Um, Wes Bagger says, when I cook my Brussels sprouts, I either do it with balsamic vinegar and roast them in the oven or an oven, or I sometimes cook them with orange juice. It's very good. Yeah, oh. oh. Jen used to do them in the oven. Uh, she would smash them and throw them in there. What did you put some garlic and some Parmesan on them? Yeah. That's good, too. This here, I just really, I like the way it cooks them. I mean, kind of, it really tenderizes them, and it really encrusts that balsamic in there really well. I really like the way they come out. It's really easy. I don't have an oven, so this is pretty much my best. We have air fried oil, too, and that works pretty good. Uh, Tracy Gamble says, I didn't know fresh garlic came in a pouch. This is really nice. This is an Aldi find. It's it's pre, uh, they bust it out of the pouch, the, uh, the clove, and they, they, they shell it, and they throw it in here. It's really nice, really convenient. It's super cheap. So here they are. I don't know. Can they see it at all? Down a little, up a little. Sort of. The yep. light is kind of... Yeah, the light's good. probably crappy. But yeah, here they are. Nice and cooked, Up nice and hot. Um, I promise you they smell good, and I guarantee you they're going to taste good. I want you to put one in my mouth. Uh, not right now, you don't. They're hot. No. All right, like I said, I'm going to let this cool a second. And then we're going to get to the meat. Like I said, this is a two-pound uh, flank steak. It's been marinating. It's just a um, McCormick uh, steak marinade. Like I say, it kind of had everything in it that I would have done. Dreaming Out Loud says Kyle should put ingredients ahead of time and we can actually cook with Kyle. Cook with Kyle. Paul, you're always one up in your man. And I'm just kidding. Well, that'd be cool. Heck, I didn't even know what I was doing until this afternoon, so you know us. Um, anyway, it's a two pound flank. I'm a little nervous about it. I haven't done this in a while. I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. I think it'd be good. Debbie T says just logged on. Sounds great. 
Jason meters. Hi, guys. Hello. And I'm trying to get everybody's comments up while Kyle's talking. So that way, at least, you know, it's on the screen. So I want to get to everybody that I can. So bear with me. All right. I'm a cranker. When I'm cooking steak, I want a good sear. I want a good, I want to char it and get it done. I'm not one. I don't want to sit there and cook and cook and cook. I want to char it real good. I don't know. I'm, I'm I guess I haven't done a flank in a while. I'm thinking maybe four minutes, flip it, four minutes, I'll check it. I'm hoping my thick end to be medium rare and my thin end is going to be around medium. That's what I'm shooting for, whether it's going to happen or not, I have no idea. Um, like I said, I'm, I don't use olive oil typically when I'm making, when I'm really trying to get something hot. I use avocado oil. It has a higher smoke point. Um, and I do like it. I, I, I like the way it cooks. Um, that's what we're going with. I have a crank. So I'm a cranker. I got a 420. I don't know what that means. Hell, we may trip the break again. Who knows? I don't know a lot because, like I say, I, I want a good char and a good sear on it. Texas Family Campus says, I started using avocado oil when I found out it has a much higher smoking tone than the other oils. Yeah, I, I something I started doing in the last few months. I used to use uh, olive oil for everything. And um, I, I do like the avocado oil for certain things. So what I've learned with the steak and with this skillet, really cast iron is ideal. I guess but I don't have a cast iron skillet. Is once you can see the oil or it starts smoking, that's when you want to throw it on there. So it'll take a couple minutes to get that hot. Like I say, I run it as hot as I can get it. Once I get it going, I may turn it down and adjust it a little bit, but I like to get it nice and hot to start with. Because once I throw that steak on there, it's going to cool it down quite a bit anyway. Chop up my onion. I like to saute a little onions at the end, throw them on top of the steak. Like I said, I rarely make a meal or have a meal without onions in it. So why should tonight be any different? Big O Yo says Kyle's shirt looks a lot like my grease stings galore. Yeah. You said flank steak. Is that the right or left? It's on the flank. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Anita Dawson said look delicious and we will have a trivia question oh, wow. um yeah i put it on there so from wednesday's video we're thinking we're going to be doing some trivia questions on cooking with kyle every week too i mean the plan is going to be thursdays at 6 p.m while we're on eastern obviously if we go out west and it's three o'clock in the afternoon i'm probably not going to cook dinner so we'll adjust it accordingly um, I'm gonna get my steak out. But it'll stay 6 p.m. no matter where we go. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's probably right. no matter what time zone. But it'll vary. On yeah. East Coast. All right, so I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna pat it dry. Billy Bell wants to know if you washed your hands. Of course not. Why would I do that? Yes, I, I have washed my hands multiple times. Queenie Queen says, try Lee and Parents. My husband uses it for plank steak and tri tips. It is very good. What is it? Uh, Lee and Parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what's your sauce? What marinade, what did you marinate the steaks in? This is just a store ball. I think it's from a McCormick marinade. It's a steak, we call it a steakhouse. I typically will do my own, but I can tell it. So yeah, I just patted it dry. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on it. Again, it's in the marinade, but I like to add a little more pepper. Flip and repeat. Oh, should I be? Uh... Sterling says, just as long as the plank internal temp is of what's recommended, then it's fine. I will never go by that ever in my entire life. Yes, she's about, she's almost smoking. I'm going to give her just a minute and I'm going to throw her in there. Probably going to be some smoking here, guys. I need to crank this thing. I thought it was cranked. I feel like it could go higher. Chisel says, hi, kids. I see you. Jen, have you popped the cork yet? No, because I am on camera duty. Camera sound commenting. All the other stuff behind the scenes, dude. All right, my smoke is, or my oil is smoking, so let's go. Let's throw this piece of beef on it. That smells amazing. 
Um, Michelle McCarthy has got to go feed the fam Ooh. spaghetti. Bye, guys. We are smoking. Anita Dawson says, hey, Molly. Bye, Molly. Molly Potato photo, po, photo Bomb. I know. Um, you want to open the door, babe? Yeah. Put the dogs in their kennel. Yeah. That's a, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was that big of a piece of meat. That's a big old piece of meat. But again, thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm an amateur chef. I'm not even a chef. I'm an amateur cook. I like to cook. That's pretty much all. That's far as it goes. I'm learning. I learn every time I make something. Um, but I do truly enjoy doing it. Uh, Lily Bell says he needs a chef apron. Can I kiss the cook? Janie D says you guys have a great YouTube channel. Thank you. Jan on the Lamb says sounds delish. Cam Ragnar says hello, friend. I can't tell if this thing is pushing or pulling. You could tell it was well, blowing your hair down. So probably blowing air in. You never know what to expect here on our I live. I really do like this thing, though, that it is fantastic. Is that sucking? Yes. That's not sounds... my... yeah. yeah, there you go. Right. So I... you had it going the wrong way. That's probably why we had so much smoke. Um, Dreaming Out Loud said, what kind of skillet is it? It's an Oster skillet. I bought it at Target. I believe it was 50 bucks. I really, really like this thing. Like I said, I bought it uh, toward the end of the year last year when the uh, our cooktop broke. I was like, because we were, we knew we were remodeling the kitchen. I thought I was going to end up putting a cooktop in the cabinets. Um, so I didn't want to go buy one just for a month or so. So I ended up buying this, and I really have come to like it. I I considered getting rid of it when we did, we did the kitchen, but I've liked it so much I kept it. Um, you can just do so much with it. You can cook large quantities in it, like for stir fry, fajitas, stuff like that. You can just bring a big amount. You can serve right out of it. It's just a nice dish to have, or a nice appliance to have. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. I mean, if they want to, bring it on. Anita Dawson says, like that sound. Can't beat it. <laughs> choking so Sterling says, I love big pieces of meat, LOL. That's I mean, what she said. This is a honking <laughs> one right here, man. Anita says, you are making me hungry. Elizabeth said, I miss what he's cooking. She said, I had a T-Mobile call. You know how that is. Uh, we are doing flank steak. We are doing uh, uh, air fryer potatoes, and I have just good Brussels sprouts. Um, let's see. Dreaming out loud says Megan likes blank steak. That this is a cut she has always wanted to cook. You give her confidence. You know, Megan, you just gotta try it. Cause like I said, I've had success with it, and I failed majorly at it. I still eat it, but um, it's just the toughness of this. Flavor's great, all that, but toughness is can be tricky with blank steak. I'm looking something up right now, so. Okay. Nikki Bella says, hi, Jen and Kyle. Love you both. God bless you and family. Hey, Molly, you could get on camera for a second while Daddy's got to look something else. No, you're good. No. Lily I mean, Bell says, where's the garlic <laughs> butter and rosemary spray? I usually do that. I already marinated this one pretty well. I don't. I probably won't do it on this one. I'll do that in a couple of minutes. That's a, I, I didn't realize. It said like two pounds. That's a, Big old honking piece of meat. Um, Rebecca says, I like Kyle's t shirt. I used to go to Idle Wild as a child. Beautiful place. It really is. I love Idle Wild. Best thousand trails we've ever been. Hands down. Sherry Weber says, The food is looking good. It's still looking pretty good. I'm ready. I'm, I'm getting hungry. Teresa Morehouse says, got, Sorry, gotta go. Husband's home. Love you. See you later, Teresa. Lydia Richardson said, You sold it to me, Kyle, to the shop tomorrow. <laughs> Um, Queenie Queen says, how do you slice the flank steak? you got to go against the green. That's that's what they, that's, that's the, one of the tricks. Kind of like brisket. you got to go against the green as far as I know. That's what I'm going to do. Again, use your best judgment. Lily Bell says, flank steak, is it a Mexican dish? No, I mean, I know it's a lot. I use a lot of times for fajitas and stuff. Like I said, beef is stupid expensive right now. Like, I went to the store and... It was going to be like 50 bucks for steaks. I just couldn't see that. So I wanted to buy something big that would feed everybody that I could attempt to make good. We'll find out shortly. But, um, Dr. Detroit says, where in the world are we today? We are in Central 
Florida. I was going to say North Central Florida, about our North of Orlando. Debbie T says, yes, I'm really hungry, too. Eddie just ran out to pick up a pizza. No, that's not... That what? sounds so... It smells, sounds, everything is just delicious. Mm. Uh, dreaming Out Loud says, hey there, Molly. Take care of Chico. I will. You should just have him a minute ago. Eddie T says, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, everyone. Okay. Maybe. A little snack in there. Oh, you're going to try it? Sterling says, what is your favorite slice of beef? I'm a ribeye guy. That's typically what I do if I'm grilling or even cooking in here. I, that's my favorite. Um, Jen's going to say filet or Chateau Briand. <laughs> the kids, pretty much anything I put in front of them, especially Molly. If it's beef, she's there for it. Here it is. Um, Lily Bell says, we smoke brisket in Texas. Oh, yeah. Carol Carrion says, I'm in Tavares, Lake County, Florida, oh, 45 wow. minutes north of Orlando. Oh, wow. Sterling wants to know, what is your favorite seafood? Crab. Crab. I like Chilean sea bass. Seafood, man, I, I, like, I like shrimp. I like a good quality fish. Hog fish is amazing. Grouper is amazing. Um, scallops. I mean, I, we love seafood. I mean, fish and chips is my jam. If I go anywhere and they have fish and chips in the menu, that's likely what I'm going to order. But I, I couldn't pick this one. Um, Dream Twenty Five, Dream to Space says hi from Louisiana. Hello. Lorna says Miss Sassy. <laughs> Norma Green says she's getting hungry too. Rickard says Jen sounds hungry. She is. She's very hungry. Lori H. said, what are you using to film with today? We've got an external uh, Logitech uh, webcam. I got my lights, camera lights up, and we're, we're high, a high-tech production of here. We are high quality. With our door open and <laughs> <laughs> the max air fan. falling out. Yeah, everything's falling out everywhere. Elizabeth Gonzalez says, OMFG, so yummy and Yummy tummy. I love everything you're making. Do you make medium well because of the kids? Um, between medium and medium well, typically. They, I mean, they like hell that one, you know, honestly, but I, typically between medium and medium well. I like the fat. I like mine to move. Yeah, Jen, it's, that's, again, another tough thing is she likes hers extremely rare. The, me and the kids are a little more along the medium line. I like my, I like my fat. Um, Sterling says, what's your favorite food in general and for special occasions? Man, seafood, honestly, probably is my favorite kind of cuisine. I, I love it. Um, you know, I didn't. I don't think I would have said that until I did this life because we're away from it so much of the year. And when I get to have it, I freaking love it. Um, I like Greek food, too. Spanish food, obviously, because I cook a lot. I cook a lot of Mexican food, too. So I'm just a food person, man. I, I love trying new stuff, different stuff. Um, why is this so much um, Lucky Lady says Mary in Indiana says hello. Hello, Mary. Lily Bell says finish with butter and garlic. I typically do. I don't know that I will with this one because I've marinated it and it's got a lot of garlic already on it. I, I'm going to probably not. I'm probably going to skip that tonight. Mm -hmm. but that's typically, I'll even throw some rosemary in there. Get it nice and hot and baste it real good. Like if I'm doing a ribeye or I don't like New York strip, but I do do it occasionally. Melly Ann says, I use or use Dr. Pepper on a smoked pork butt. I've heard that. That's good. Anita wants to know where the boys are. I'm pretty sure and one's on an iPad, one's on video, on video games. Uh, right, boss. I've had your travel taking you to Wisconsin. They have the best fried perch. Yum. We went through on the way south for winter. Uh, we spent a couple days. I definitely definitely want to get back there really a neat state that we barely got to see any of but um yeah that's definitely on our list to get back to as soon as possible Jan on the limb says lobster is my all-time favorite seafood that's seafood ever uh debbie t says the only fish i like is miss paul's beer battered fish sticks <laughs> I, you know with age i've gotten 
my big, better palate as far as with fish. I used to never eat fish, but I'll eat. I'll venture out a little bit now. And sushi. I've got where I've actually started to get where I like sushi. Um, Sterling says, have y'all had exotic food? And if so, what? And if not, what would you want to try? Exotic? Um, like animals? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I would consider anything that I've had exotic. Um, I want to try Rocky Mountain oysters. Frog legs? Yeah, I mean, I've had frog legs. I've had gator. You've had escargot. I've had escargot. I mean, I've, had, I've never had caviar, which is something exotic. But no, I mean, I, I guess I haven't done a lot of that. I mean, I'm sure I would. Um, but I just, I guess I haven't really had the opportunity. Uh, Pam says you are caught up with the chat. I am impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Be working hard back here. Uh, Queen Queen says I like mine like beef jerky. Oh really? Wow. Sam Mushroom Man says, since you're in Florida, have you ever tried alligator? Yep, we've done gator many times. There's several. I mean, I've had it several times. Uh, Dreaming Out Loud says, we fell in love with Cuban food since having it at the food docking. Cuban food is amazing. We that is probably I, I, I that's seafood and Cuban food or Spanish food, whatever you want to call it, run neck and neck for me. Princess Niche says, what time is Dinden? Hopefully you're in about 10 to 15 yeah. minutes. I'm getting kind of hungry myself. I'm hungry. Molly's hungry. She's getting hangry already. I can hear it. Sherry says, what's for dessert after dinner? <laughs> That's a Molly question. Um, I don't know that we're doing any tonight. I didn't. I don't think I have any. Okay. Oh, lovely. Maybe an orange. I, I don't know. Um, Tom says, I want a cooking with Kyle weekly segment. That's the plan. Care for what you ask for. Tom. Yeah, you're going to get it. Uh, Linda Richardson says, I just want to say great job, Kyle, for cooking and again for reading out all the messages. I'm off to bed. I'm in the UK, so I have to be up for the school run. Take care, guys. Love you all. Take it easy. Have a good night. Billy Bell says, plank steak is not tender, so butter and garlic is a must. Yeah, I marinated it pretty good. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the things. It's pretty tender. Uh, Lily Bell wants to know who's making the salad. No salad. I almost bought salad stuff, but I figured I would have enough stuff on the countertop that I didn't need to add anything else. But yeah, I almost did a salad. I'm not done. I think I'm almost pleased with this. Sterling says, how does gator taste? Like chicken. No, I mean, yeah, um, it kind of does. It's kind of like a tougher version of chicken. And steak, kind of. Can you tell the boys to get off the white It's typically yeah. deep fried. I don't know that I've ever had it any other way. Uh, um... But it's good. I mean, it's, you know, it's not something I, like, rave about, but it, it is good. Melly Ann says, yes, a weekly cooking segment. You got a bunch of votes for weekly cooking with Kyle. Oh, man. Anita says, look how much that meat has shrunk. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Uh, Princess, oh, there's Eli. Wave up there. They can all see you. Hi. You got to back up a little. Um, I'm gonna let this bad boy rest for a little bit. Woo! Princess Me says, "Are the kids picky eaters?" Yeah. yeah. Not really. I mean, compared to some kids I've seen, not so much. All right, I, like I said, I cut up a little bit of onion, so I'm gonna throw this in there. Put yeah. the garlic, throw some of my onion in there, saute it because this has got to rest anyway. So I'm gonna let it rest. Saute these up, and we're, we're gonna call it a, 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 a show. Well, you gotta plate all. You gotta make one plate. Do I have um, a plate? You have to make a plate. Show um, everybody what you cook. Well, I'm gonna let this rest. I'm not gonna cut into it right now. That's fine. We still got the trivia question. We're good. We may want to get to that pretty soon. Melly Ann says Gator is swamp chicken. Why is the door open? Dessert after dinner. You dessert the table. Mom. Mom. Yeah, right. I Mom. used to love seafood, but not anymore. Just doesn't agree with my stomach. DOL says great live. Thanks, guys. It's okay. It's open because we're, we're airing out the smoke. Back to some more garlic, of course. Smoke. Smoke. I want to put Okay. Anita says, hey, Eli. Say hi, back. Um, Debbie Johnson says, I can smell it. Eddie T says, always look forward to Sunday live. Now Thursday is cooking. Cool. Your stomach hurts? So I'm cooking these. Like I said, I added a little bit of olive oil and I had a little bit of juice in there from the steak. Threw in a little garlic. 
I throw them salt on them. I love, like I say, I there's rarely a meal cooked in this house without an onion. So Jen knows it because her eyes always burn when I cut them up. But they taste good. Bree says, I wish smell a vision was a thing. <laughs> Sherry Weber says, you have my vote on weekly segment of Cooking with Kyle. I think we're going to do it for a while. See how it goes. See how people like it. Um, I'm going to try and go cook as many new, or cook as many, have different shows. What am I trying to say? Have different uh, recipes every week for as long as I can. Like I said, I don't have some extensive cookbook that I go off of. I kind of just go off of feel and smell and taste. Um, so we'll, off, like I say, uh, there's a couple dishes I've never made that I need to practice on that I want to do for the show. But uh, i got a few things up my sleeve I think we can do. Stephanie says, love that you have a man to cook. Mine won't touch nothing in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's not even about that. It's about, it's something I like to do. Um, and she doesn't like to do it, so it just fits. It just works, you know. Um, I'm sure if I didn't like to cook, I'm sure she could figure it out and do just as good a job as I do. Do you have, did you get me a thing, babe? Huh? And a diet. Um, Jan and Lamb says, next time I won't have dinner first. You're remaking me hungry all over again, Kyle. So maybe that was a good point by dreaming out loud. Maybe I can kind of plan this a little better and do a recipe. Like I say, it'll be a rough draft or like a rough estimate because I don't really measure a lot which it kicks me in the rear sometimes but I typically um just like I say go off of feel and experience and smell but I can put like a rough list of what I'm going to do on there Let me go get my, uh... Sterling says weekly segment of cooking with Kyle I'm so for it something I'm practicing is putting things away as I'm done with them I I'm still learning that I'm not good at it yet but I'm getting it you would think I would be good at it because I have such limited space, but again, I'm good. Um, Life Rewind says, hey, Kyle, you need a chef hat. <laughs> they also said I have some great crock pot recipes. I, I've been thinking for a while now, actually, about it, uh, Instapot. I, everybody says, you got to have an Instapot. Gotta have, and most people can't believe we don't have one. Um, if we get a bus or something with more space, I could see us adding an Instapot to the uh, repertoire or the uh, plants area, but for now, just get some done. Um, Sterling said the kitchen is not to be afraid of, cooking or otherwise. No. I think when you're plating, I'll do the trivia question. No, I mean, what's the worst you could do? It doesn't turn out the way you want. And you're going to learn. Like I said, I have learned so much. But you got, it's one of the things you just got to do. You got to get your hands in there. You got to do it. See what works. Because, I mean, there's no, I guess there's really no right way to do it. You just, just you got to do what works for you. Did you give me one, Lily? There's none. I just bought one because you can do it. In the case. back. All right. Um, I wish we could smell what's cooking. Debbie says, great idea. That's how I cook, too. Great idea where the, uh, the, the heat thing is. I guess it's probably not. No, it's fine. Um, Sterling says, talking to the men about the kitchen. He said the kitchen is not to be afraid of cooking or otherwise. Life Rewinded uh, said... I'll show you my taters. I don't know if you can see them. They are so good. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on. See, nice and... Mm, they're so good. They got... It's kind of like a mashed potato inside. It's just it's really good. A lot of flavor. It just bursts in your mouth, kind yeah, of. It's, but it's it, pretty awesome. Um, clean as you go, definitely a time saver. My mother always said that. It's something I, I guess I, as the older I get, I'm realizing it, it helps, especially in a tiny space. Rocco says, Kyle literally does everything. No, I don't do it all. I promise. Without her and the kids, I couldn't do any of it. So. I just, she just, she just makes me look good. I guess that's what it's easy. All right, if you want to go ahead and do your question, I'm going to go ahead and try. Queenie Queen says, Kyle is a natural in the kitchen. Great job. Yes. Cindy Thomas says he's amazing. Something I have learned was get you a good knife. I'm going to say it's a good knife, but it's a decent knife. There's it's nothing worse than, trying, worse than trying to cook and prepare, especially we do a lot of fresh veggies, a lot of fresh meats. I mean, I rarely ever do much out of a box. Um, get you a good knife. Save you a lot of frustration. All right. Are you guys ready for the trivia question while Kyle's getting ready to plate everything? 
What was the number of the code to the lock in the hotel scavenger hunt? I, I know, I know. I don't know. What is the number of the code to the lock in the hotel scavenger hunt? And I said it out loud. So you had to really be paying attention. I don't know if they're going to get this I one. think I know this one. If, oh, no, no, oh, wait, wait, no, no. It was two less than what our room number was. So if you remember our room number, it was two less than what our room number was. So it was three, doo, doo, doo. It was three numbers. Code to lock. Yeah. I don't think, I think this is the first time that. Well, I don't, you probably don't have to hear the people on tonight. So. I know. Well, so we're not giving away a mug tonight. I know it. You can't answer. <laughs> I can't Rebecca Munez is closest. She is closest. I really want to give you guys a mug before Kyle plates the food. Rebecca Munez, she is closest. It's plated. Should I, should I show? Yes. She is super close. I know it. Nope. In our fancy uh, yeah, plates. Yes, go ahead and show it while, right. while the rest of you Here it is, guys. Um, nope. Pretty good. I think it's gonna be pretty close to what I wanted. Um, this is probably more of a medium. But here you go. Can you see it? Up a little higher. Yep. But there you go. We got our Brussels sprouts. We got our potatoes, and we got our steak with some onions on it. I know it. I just that's it, guys. It. I mean, that's pretty. I think it'll be Jen's plate probably. Oh, thank you. Oh, can I try? Um, right. Lost was the first one to answer correctly. It was four two five. Send an email to Kyle. At redwhitemagoon.com. Send me, pick out which mug you want, and send me your name and your shipping address. Um, and I'll get it to you. But thank you guys for being here. It was fun. I'm glad you showed up. And um, I'll be here same time, same place next week. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but maybe I'll have a little bit more of a uh, idea. And I can she can post it up once she posts the live. But thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate it. We, as always, we always appreciate your support. We love, love you guys. And we'll see you Sunday. Yeah. Have a good rest of your week, guys. Bye. Stay safe, stay safe out there. And take care of each other. Stay wonderful. Stay, yeah, stay wonderful.